A reminder that my one-hour stand-up comedy special will be available on my channel tomorrow, October 9th, Wednesday at 12 p.m. Please watch it. Please share a clip. There's going to be a Dropbox link. Please share one of the artworks. Anything, tell a friend. It is all very much appreciated for free on the channel. And without further ado, one of our most requested guests that we had in our hotel room in Vegas where we set up a studio. Ripper. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Rochefort. The boys. It's the boys cast. The lads. It's the boys cast. The dudes. We have a Danny met a guy yesterday that his uh, that his wife wants to fuck a midget, and they're going to midget wrestling. Vegas real brings out the freaks. Yeah, it it really does. Dude, it's, I, everyone that I know uh, that like lives here that's always trying to sell Vegas, they're like, "This is the spot." And then within an hour of talking to them, dude, there's a comic, our buddy. He was like, "It's the best." You know, it's just a great place to live. And then he was like, "Yeah, I started playing again." And then he started. He told me he goes. He goes, uh, the slot machines? He goes, yeah, but I'm, I know the thing now, right? So he goes, I'm spending six hours. He starts showing me pictures of slot it's machines. Get, he gets a diaper. <laughs> yeah. This is a good conversation. <laughs> it's, it's all like logistical stories that don't mean shit. Yeah. They're like out of context logistical stories that are like pick from a hat. <laughs> and they don't mean, it's like saying it's 83 degrees. That's yeah. it. Not yeah. where, not why, not when. Just it's it, So it's like a logistical, nonsensical, like loopy hell ride. You get to jump in the middle of people. He started telling me that, uh, he, he goes, I hit it big, right? And I don't know how much it was, but then he goes, I have to keep playing because you can write off the losses after you win or whatever. And it was like, yeah, right. <laughs> you can't write off gambling yeah. losses. Who's yeah. this fucking like, what are you like your LLC gambling? Like your fucking D Gen LLC showing up? Like the, the Jabba Walkies are his fucking accountant on the, on the strip <laughs> out there. <laughs> They're like, you can write off your LLCs. The, <laughs> the, preg the pregnant nun with the fucking pasties on her tits. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's his account. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, so crazy. I seen her three years in a row and the first year she was pregnant and then. Really? She, but she's not pregnant anymore. But, oh, pregnant but she, the nun. <laughs> the nun, but she, but she, was, she must have had the kid. She or, miscarried in a garage somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> she, she queefed it out and fucking smoked fucking crystal meth out of its eye sockets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's oh, yeah, the only thing. Keep too the show on the road, though. Got to keep going. This is whole sales pitch that uh, if if you win it big, then every for the rest of the year, everything you lose is right off. So it's like you're like, yeah, but the alternative is keep it. Okay, also, <laughs> yeah, 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 just have the money, hide it. Not one person on earth who's played slots for like forty years, and they're like, I'm up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, not that's not one. how that works. Not a single like, one. Not one. Like it's there's, there's a reason why we're in like Las Vegas is so nice and everything's so opulent. It's because like you lose money to pay for this stuff like they didn't you know like all the money that's lost that they make from gambling pays yeah. for all the shit it's like you know they don't lose money that's not their business model do you ever hear the stories about how people uh like drive their cars here from like ohio and then gamble so much they can't leave <laughs> Like for Bruno real, Mars. have you ever heard that? Yeah, no, uh, Bruno Mars. <laughs> sweet Bruno Mars is out there. Yeah. Bruno Mars is the ultimate so at all. So sad. Bruno Mars just got caught up in like fucking like blackjack, the high limit blackjack game, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm like indentured servitude for the next ten years in Vegas because he owes them fifty million dollars." He's dancing right now. <laughs> he's, Dude, literally, he has a his, his residency yeah. right now is just to pay off his gambling debts. Stop. He has yeah. like a, an indefinite residency to cover his gambling debts. It's incredible. It's insane. <laughs> he's yeah. a lucky bastard. Yeah. I think that's what happens if you lose enough money they force you to become a magician yeah <laughs> what was it remember magic the, school remember frankie <laughs> frankie valley there was that video going around like oh. a couple months ago where he like came out and they like wheeled him out and he's just like <laughs> and they're like is he okay he's like yeah he lost a lot of money playing blackjack he's like this is how you pay it back <laughs> he's like, help me <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like he's doing the. Uh, can I have an angel shot? Is that what, is yeah, that what yeah, girls do yeah, at the bar? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have an angel shot, please. <laughs> They're like, who is it? It's like the guy in blue. It's like, he's like Frankie Valley. Blinking Morse code, help yeah. me! As he's like, <laughs> he's blinking that his asshole's falling out because he's been being raped so hard for his gambling debts. That's a good point, though. You go and you can't get out. Yeah, because you come into Vegas and you're like, yeah, I'll do a residency for a week. And you're like, no, it's gonna be for the rest of your life. Yeah, for the rest of your life. <laughs> That's how they lock you in. Poor bastards. Dude, I, I always find it funny too that in this city, the magicians, uh, 
Like kind of in entertainment at large, like when you're generally trying to do some, enter- any entertainment that it's kind of like skill based, less so, other than music, less so your photos, the press photos of magicians are all them like with oil on trying like almost looking like their magic mic. Yeah, yeah, like some, yeah. you never see, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, sexy, sexy magician. Yeah, they're magician. every, every magician here and it's not even guys that are good looking, but their photo is like them with their shirt off kind of like, I don't know why magicians became like, you're supposed to look hot. You yeah, know? I think, I think they get, Vegas. I think they get pussy though. Oh hell like, yeah! Girls like skulls and yeah. ponytails here, so like magician is like the look. Yeah, yeah there's like, a very fine line between like you know this guy's dressed like an actual like high school woman versus like <laughs> he's crushed every piece of like ten ass on oh, this yeah, strip. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean the, these fucking fat heifer retards that are here for their fucking bachelorette parties <laughs> are looking to be like oh, sure. throat checked yeah. <laughs> uh, all night long by a fucking like a like a, a guy with like pulling a fucking rabbit out of a hat i mean this is the major <laughs> league for magicians yeah like, this is like when you start magic you go i hopefully like wind up having a show in vegas yeah like, this yeah. is it man this is yeah. the top well of there's it. a couple of magicians kicking around this the, is, this the, the festival yeah yeah this is the tops though <laughs> really yeah. my favorite thing on fremont street is the you know there's just like all the chicks out there who are like just like a six yeah you know, like you want to pay money to have a photo with me yeah <laughs> <laughs> the balls the balls it's like literally you're like what and there's some people who are probably some podunk town they go yeah yeah I'll, oh that, I'd love that's a fo- fo- i love a photo in, yeah. yeah but you're like i'd love a photo with this just six <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> on fremont street well i mean like w- what were they doing 10 minutes ago they were like mouthing the words to a poison song yeah. like 10 minutes like they, i was watching a couple clap at another couple while dancing that they don't know <laughs> they're like the, they're like and the other couple was just like <laughs> and they're like ah it's just like uh and th- between that and like uh everybody singing let's like just co- mid 80s cock rock singing in the everybody mouths the words yeah there's a special kind of retard you ever see there. someone uh you know the, the heart attack cafe is that what it's called Heart attack grill on the yeah. right on Fremont Street, where like there's a scale outside, oh. and if you're over 350 pounds, your you, girlfriend you, can't get in. You eat for free. <laughs> 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 you eat for free. Her out. And like dude, to see someone go on there, and then they're like 340, and they're disappointed. They're just like. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the only like, time when 345 is yeah, like, like, God damn it. She was heavier. Mm. Well, this guy came up to us and he goes, he had a handful of Tic Tacs and he goes, pick a Tic Tac and someone picked the Tic Tac. And then he goes, uh, he goes, grab my eyelid. I go, all right. I grab his eyelid. He goes, Tic Tac comes out of his eyelid. And, every, and like, honestly, everyone there was just like, Ugh. <laughs> Gro- yeah, it's gross, man. <laughs> no one was like, yo, was like, Ugh. yeah, you went to bed after that. <laughs> you took an Uber home and went to bed. You were like, you quit. You did. A, you're gonna do a little less comedy in your life now. Yeah. You're like, the guy's probably on like daily antibiotics. His doctor's like, you can't just keep a tic tac in your yeah. eye all you day, doing? man. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> would you uh, would you even learn that trick? He's like a magician. It's like a fucking crystal meth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that street. cool of a magician. That is one thing too, though, because he was talking about the Russell. <laughs> the, we're, we're saying like a lot of these magicians caught a couple of me too's so and just like go about their daily life like nothing happened. Like really? Vegas, there is there is uh, whatever happened in your normal show business, whatever's in the tabloids, you leave it at the door when you get to Vegas. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. You they should start over. over. Yeah, nobody yeah. lost the residency here for me too. Like, I don't think I heard. It's a impossible. One. I, yeah. I always tell my wife when I, when I, if I, if I, my wife ever fucks with me hard enough, I will. I was like, <laughs> keep, keep fucking with me that hard. I will fucking disappear to Las Vegas. I will be a street magician with a. Fu- <laughs> my name will be like Ryan, Ryan Adams from like Iowa, like a f- completely fake identity, and like you, and you'll sink here. Like, no, you can blend in, live under a fucking bridge, and just. Oh yeah, this is one. I'm probably the main city for starting over, like start a new life in America. Like, if you just kind of shit. It's not going good, and you just well, it's like funny because show up just like it's probably the main we were city for, for like you know what fuck it I'm just gonna move to Vegas start a new life three weeks in you're like this one didn't work high <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit where am I gonna do now you're in Nashville you're a country singer it's a couple weeks later third life it is yeah, yeah you're like, <laughs> fuck yeah, it's, not, it's not that easy actually to just start a new life <laughs> lost the car that I drove in on I know I'm yeah I'm zero lives <laughs> yeah there's a parking lot somewhere with a bunch of titles owned by like degenerate gambling addicts it, 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 like uh, women women do it and there's a there's a pro program here that you can sign up for if you get into that it's called like like afn or something and like it's like addicts people who drive here and lose their shit and then you're like don't worry we have a solution for you you're going to be pushing a trash can around this hotel for the next fucking 20 years it's like bruno mars <laughs> yeah it's yeah. just like low level bruno mars yeah yeah yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what they all say to like and make bruno themselves level. feel better they're yeah. like bruno mars did it yeah, it's awesome <laughs> bruno mars <laughs> he was in my graduating they're class. like all in the fucking break room bruno mars is there just like eating <laughs> they're all just in the indentured servitude break room like it's like hey having what's a up? bite with bruno go ahead everything's going <laughs> 
getting some coin off your uh, debt. It's <laughs> so funny that after they just slot you into the city. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, we, got, we got plenty of jobs for you. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he's, we've saw a video of Russell Brand is like baptizing a guy. Uh, yeah, you know? saw that. He yeah. got dude so hard that he's baptizing, yeah, yeah, he's baptizing people now. Oh, good. Yeah. Just fucking go to hell. <laughs> What's <laughs> wrong with that fucking on. guy? <laughs> that ghoul. My buddy Charles has like a really good Russell Brand rant. It's just, it's just, he's, he's something wrong with him. He's a gigantic, he looks like, um, remember the, you guys ever played Twisted Metal 2, the video game? Yeah, of course. You remember the, uh, the, the clown. Oh, yeah, he's not, he's not the, uh, who, the, with the motorcycle with the skull. <laughs> yeah. That's him. That's Russell Brand. <laughs> like, he's been like, I want to look like that now. He's like, his facial features are getting insane now. I don't know. There's something wrong with him. Yeah. Dude, I was actually thinking, I watched a lot of like the realtor stuff that you do. Hmm. It's funny because you you just actually, if you like distill it down, there's like actual practical advice where I remember Danny used to, he, he's the one who got me into like four hour work week. You remember like Tim Oh yeah, Ferris Tim Ferriss. Ferris. I love Tim Ferriss. And I was kind of like super into that that kind of shit and then there was like a switch where it switched from like this is how to like manage your day to here's my like 19 you know morning routines yeah and the, the switch of like a guy just and he were the, the whole book that he did after that was just like you know here's the tea i drink here's the walk and it was just like eight hours of stuff and there was like a switch from it being useful well, he's like he's like i got so much useful. fucking time now because i only work four hours a week yeah, yeah I got all the time so he's like this is what you do with your life now ryan you <laughs> yeah. only work four hours a week so you get an eight hour morning routine I get, steep in tea and brewing it and curing it 30 30 30 yeah. wake up in the first 30 minutes eat 30 grams of protein do 30 minutes of steady state cardio was a tim ferris thing he went to south america it's became not bad a, <laughs> right right i hope my fucking i'll check that's my when i told my fat ass wife to go do no <laughs> my, my sweetheart I, I'm, I'm into big chick she's 400 pounds but i told her if you want to lose do the tim ferris he's a salsa dancing champion too in south tim america ferris? oh yeah that's one of the things he like learned he goes i just like because the four-hour work week he's like he got super or maybe four-hour body but he's like he just went and got super jacked then he like went and learned salsa and yeah he just does all the shit just don't believe that the story ends there no <laughs> <laughs> like you just oh yeah you went to south america if you consider it yeah, all right, crushing sure. behavior he's got fucking eight it. bastard kids down there yeah like, right, right yeah, which, i mean yeah. a lot of that tech behavior makes more sense if you understand the pussy crushing element you're like oh this guy went and hung out with salsa people for like a year and a half you're like right. yeah this guy's running through yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. pig piles of colombian whores yeah. like literally he's like here's my thing i put eight of them on a bed i crawl underneath them i let them lick me fucking fuck me suck me kick me it's a really great thing to do we've I, actually had a lot of uh, on our podcast there was a while where people were sending us stories and we were trying to tackle the problem of what to do if your wife gets fat that was actually <laughs> big. and people were sending us success stories and stuff like that really like, yeah. like look at her now like before and afters yeah. and shit yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was all well it was all like we didn't post anyone's identity and stuff but yeah. a big thing was they tried they, they the one of the biggest things that uh one got her patreon said hit one of his biggest uh thing is that she's like i convinced her that like i wanted to go to with walks with her like it's a good thing romantically oh, for us to do nice. and then she got really into the walking right. and he was he able does, to, she walked right to another man <laughs> 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 she's like I'm t i thought you like i thought you were in a face sitting and you were that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> face sitting. Yeah, that's a good place to start is you convince him that like walking is our thing yeah, yeah. good for you you figured it out you yeah, yeah, yeah. You she goes, really walking green. twenty thousand steps at a time is our thing yeah yeah, yeah we gotta get the it is the hardest problem to tackle and social media is hitting you from every angle trying to keep her fat yeah, just yeah. That's well, wild. no, it depends which social media. There's definitely there's still a social media of like you got to steal her algorithm. Yeah, you got to go. Yeah. You got to get her on the like, Kim, Kim Kardashian. Yeah, algorithm. before and afters from like wholesome girls. And I, I I've been like. I've, you've been working out. Yeah. yeah. I've been, I love it. Before and before and afters. Who knew underneath all these fucking fat girls was like a well preserved, hot white girl? I know. I know. <laughs> like, like every like hot American. Well preserved. Yeah. Like just absolutely. It was like they were like salting it like fish. <laughs> like it's like, holy shit. So anybody who's in, cured. just cured the skin, like no aging on the skin. Like <laughs> yeah, skinny yeah. girls age like fucking milk. I know. You know, their skin looks like my fucking ball sack. Well, thing. Yeah. 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 My buddy was into skinny, like really thin chicks. That was his thing. And his wife aged like a fucking. Uh, Wacky dude. Yeah, I'm like this dude. Yeah, yeah. who's this yeah. fucking guy you're married to? <laughs> well, super skinny chick who likes to tan. That's a bad yeah. recipe. If she looks like, like a really cock. like the sun. <laughs> tan mom, like tan mom, like yeah. that's a tough. That, that's bad for the skin. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's not. That, that, that doesn't work out. Doesn't, it doesn't salt. The, no, the fat girls that are preserving it in fucking lard. Yeah, yeah. well, tons of collagen. And that's it's the, the collagen's all there. The yeah. you know the, the <laughs> That's such a funny concept. Like, <laughs> like they're actually a better skinny girl because they're preserving the. For sure, it's in good shape. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. stretched out. It wasn't. You know, it wasn't. <laughs> Malnourished. It's like the guys who keep the couch in the, the in the plastic. Wrapping. Yeah, that's all that is. Yeah. That's all that is. And look, if it takes six months for these before and afters, good God. news, guys. <laughs> like you don't need to recreate your life for a teacher out of what you'll you'll figure out. Like, but ever hit the gym? I love. It's really really exciting. Like I, I just like I keep turning the phone. Around. I'm like, look at this one. 
You know, you know, like there's that thing where like people fucking will like stab someone with like a needle with heroin in it. Like some crazy guy will just like people. Oh, like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you do that with Ozempic. <laughs> <Just Ozempic. laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. She like at the grocery. Like you ever heard that? Where someone's at the grocery store and she's like, I think that happened in Toronto actually, where someone was at the grocery store. And she's like, I felt like a pinch, and I turned around and some guy was just like holding a fucking needle. Good and he God. just was like stabbing people with needles. And he's like some junkie dude, and he's like crazy. I and think so she was like, I thought she had hepatitis or HIV or some shit. I was just over at the Gold Nugget, you know, in the pool, right, with you guys. Woo! Yeah, yeah, you were yeah. full garb in the pool. Yeah, and, and pants. Uh, I, I might pants be going up. there right after this. There was a Haitian migrant walking through, like, barefoot, like, <laughs> like, like just scheming. Like, he was, like, <laughs> spitting out whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> like, hate the look of a, your average Haitian, like, uh, your Haitian homeless guy. <laughs> For a, a white guy, that yeah. that's the scariest looking dude, right? Yeah. Like his hair's like, <laughs> like he was like biting the air. He had no shoes on. Like they, he's in a casino. There's just happy go like happy go lucky morons. Like that guy's how they let hair. him into the pool? They wrote a fucking tight ship there. Right? Uh, no, no, he wasn't. He was at the pool. He was walking mm. through the casino. He was like, but oh, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I, that, I always think of the heroin needle stab for some reason. That that's like a big one for me. You ever yeah. see the one about the toilet paper? When they stab the side of the toilet paper, no. no. So like, if, if you shoot heroin, you shoot it in a bathroom, and then to clean the pin, they'll stick it in the side of the toilet paper racks. Oh. <laughs> so people were like wiping their ass and shit, and they'd like pull the toilet paper out, and they're like, "Why is there fucking blood on this fucking toilet paper?" And you're just rubbing like a fucking heroin addict's fucking blood? arm arm goo in your oh. asshole. <laughs> You know. You're like boofing fucking HIV, basically. <laughs> yeah, 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 just hepatitis. <laughs> fucking, your teeth fall out immediately. They shoot out of your mouth. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, no, that was uh, that was a wild night. The Haitian guy. There were two of them last night where I was like, damn, this is crazy. Yeah, like, I'm surprised they don't like. I mean, if I was like uh, indigent, I'm coming to West Coast. Like, I see all like the New York fucking homeless people. I'm like, man, what are you doing? Yeah, like you're like you're dealing with the snow. Yes. Like, get out. Get Snow out to the zone? West Coast. Like, Vegas, LA, California, anywhere. The California guys, I, I lived in Venice. They were out here. These are, these are the best bums in, in the history. These are these are world's Vegas? greatest. Vegas has the greatest bums. <laughs> yeah. When I was uh, probably like 21, I, was, I filmed this video called The Homeless Rap Crew when I was like, just a stupid YouTube video. And then we went to East Hastings in Vancouver, which is like, they've taken over that area. It's probably the most area. It's like Amsterdam from the water. So we <laughs> really, yeah. yeah, really. It's like a yeah. re real, like open market. Like every Sunday they do like a flea market. It's like they shut down, like the city allows them to shut down the street. Yeah. They like, sell all their nice the stuff and they sell all the stuff. They've just stolen. Them <laughs> yeah, it's like, like legitimately <laughs> it's a laptop. Like, and shit is. with stickers. Dude, like if you, if you're ever looking for like, Hey, I have like a, an Epson printer from like 97 <laughs> yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. like, I need the cable. It's there. Yeah. They have every cable for fucking everything. Carbon fiber road bikes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I'm sure you bought the Fiji carbon fiber speed series road bike with like a Shimano derailleur. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, I actually like it. The speed between the gears. He's like shut the fuck up. He's got clip in pedals. <laughs> like, yeah. We had a bum one time that he was, he's like riding around. He's got like nine chains on. And we were like, we used to pay like bums to like a dollar to do something on camera. Same kind of thing. And yeah. they, were, they would like jump in front of city buses and shit for like a dollar. Oh. And then one guy we were like, all right, we'll give anybody like five bucks to do something crazy. And like carbon fiber Fiji road bike pulls up and he's like, do a dollar. It ain't even worth my fucking time <laughs> he rides away with like an obviously ten thousand yeah, dollar yeah. road bike <laughs> like, like one of the wheels was like a plate like it was a championship yeah, 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 yeah. Like oh, velo you, velodrome bike yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you like cycling <laughs> <laughs> well this these guys we started filming the video and it pissed them off they didn't oh. want us in there and they started like 15 of them started chasing us oh no like out of the block and legitimately me and I think it was two other guys. We just started running with our cameras. We had 15 homeless guys chase. I swear, we get to the, like the, where the strip ends. They stopped like it was you know like there's the a force field. Yeah, yeah. Like feel the dreams. The collars went off. On the they just stopped as yeah. soon as right at the end. Well, because the thing is, because they're all allowed to like sell drugs in there, and you're probably like filming them selling drugs, and you're like you're, you're like you're ruining it for us, Ryan. Uh, yeah. yeah, we thought we were giving them publicity yeah. to the market. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. we don't they, need commercials. Yeah. <laughs> they go, can you give me a dollar? You go, how much exposure? Yeah. That I'm, <laughs> I can pay you in exposure. This is in Vancouver, <laughs> Vancouver, Vancouver. East Hastings. And dude, like my brother used to live on East Hastings, and it's like it's like downtown Vancouver. So it's like he lived in this like really nice apartment. It was uh, probably like you know six k a month for this like sick apartment. You literally walk downstairs. It's on East Hastings Street. You go out the alley, and there's like. As you walk out in the alley, three people just like shooting up fucking heroin in their foot, mm. like every day. Like it's like the worst part, but also like 
people live in like really expensive. Places. I was gonna say, isn't Vancouver the most? Isn't it the richest zip code in the world? Buddy, it's no, a no, it's no, a no. switch. Like legitimately, it is more than Canada. Uh, Bill Gates' Canada, house yeah. versus you know, like that one over is what he's talking about. Just really? like Skid Row, Bill Gates. It's a quick switch. <laughs> yeah. too. really. But it's not even a quick switch. Like people live like the street is rough, but then like people still do live there because it's like Vancouver, not anymore. <laughs> no, they do. Vancouver's so small. Like the actual size of like the Vancouver portion is like it's tiny so there's so little real estate but if you live there like it's I'm so surprised expensive. the Chinese absentee landlord is ha- landlords haven't taken over the uh the well they started taxing them they started they, they started uh, hitting them with like a like a fucking 25 percent vacant home tax like annually or something yeah you guys are getting molly We're getting out there with that oh, killed. new york has a bit of that right now yeah, too. Russian in, yeah the Russian hey let me ask you a tax question that i feel like i can because everyone's can like you write off slot <laughs> yeah. losses? so my buddy won a shitload of money i'm talking six <laughs> seven hundred <laughs> hey asshole i won over twelve hundred last night like, like a, wow wow yeah yeah. Close. Always, Keep going. I'm always. I feel like uh, I, I like. Listen, I like a good scam as much as anyone. Yeah. Danny's better at doing scams. Uh, my scams are all just like kind of working really hard. Like I don't have very good scams. Yeah. But people are always saying it's like invest in real estate. You write off the thing. The, this is. I've seen 50 Instagram videos, 50 mm-hmm. YouTube videos, and then every time I like actually start thinking about it, you go. Well, you buy the house, you write off the amount, and then you rent it out, and that income equals the same thing. So, you're what are you writing? Like, you're not what tax write off are you getting? Mortgage interest. Mortgage interest. Yeah, but wouldn't you, but then you have to claim the income if you're renting it out. Well, you have you have to claim the income. So then it's it's not it's not actually okay. Let's say you You do a a set. What are you saying? The alternative is though. Well, I just don't see what it helps. So someone, let's say someone has, owes a hundred grand to the government, right? Yeah. And then you go, well, if I have a house, then that house is, you know, let's say 30 grand a year. You're like, that's just 30 grand off my hundred yeah. grand, whatever. You go, yes. But then if I rent it out for 30 grand, now I have 30 grand more income. Yeah. You have to, you have to lose money. Like, like a write-off is a yeah. loss. You, you, you should be, if you, you wouldn't want to be buying houses for like ultimate shelters for tax havens. You, sh- uh, do you have an S corp? Escort? Escort. You have an escort here? <laughs> yeah, we're. Yeah. You said there were going to be nine escorts in here. Yeah, yeah. Like, you fucking. Before I tricked continue, yeah, you listen, ask, you. Now there's a scam. Yeah, yeah. I'll no, give you the tax <laughs> advice, but. No, well, I don't, what I are you going to do for me? I'm not a fucking. I, I listen. My, one of my best friends is an accountant. I just listen to what he says. So, and my mom's an, an accountant. Just an AR, like an accounts receivable chick her whole life. But um, you can do a SEP, a supplemental employee pension fund. And that's a shield for like 69 grand, 60 or that's like the third thing that you can dump into relatively tax free, but it, it's a limit to it. It's like 60 grand. If you pay, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Pay, you can pay yourself that, that you can do that instead of a house. That's like the new thing you learn. If you make over like 200, <laughs> it starts to get into like, Oh, I need to, you're not going to have that much worth. Yeah. Of it feels like a lot of the good scams you see on Instagram. You look into them and you're like, this is not, why would the best scams be oh, on Instagram? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's always like you can go to the government and they give you a loan. Like I yeah, love yeah, they're yeah, sending yeah. kids in the hood. They're like this. They have to give you a hundred thousand in loan. And then you have the money in your account. I mean, literally the best scam. If you have a lot of money is if you own equities is you borrow against them and you pay the interest. And then the interest that you pay is literally like that you, scam. I like you can write that off and then you get like a low interest rate against your equities that are just collateral and then they just appreciate and you never take a capital gains uh, that seems like the real high level the big, like that's what yeah. i like if you're really rich like elon musk like when elon musk needs to raise money he doesn't sell tesla stock he just literally borrows against it yeah and uses it as collateral and then, he writes, off, and then he writes off the interest that's mm-hmm. like the biggest scam that really rich people do yeah this that's the thing it's like income brackets like you get these like we get all these like bust out ass fucking scams they're like so you, <laughs> you piece of shit you started making some money i was like what i sold cars so i was making like a buck 50 a year buck 80 a year when i was like 20 and i always hung out with guys which is a lot of money when you're 20 when you get older you're like ah you know and everybody just like talks about these fucking things like they're like a like they're elon musk like they figured something out they're like oh well i have to i have to shelter my my money <laughs> like motherfucker you're talking about four thousand yeah, dollars yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, shut yeah. up oh. <laughs> like all the way up to like five hundred thousand. so we're all bust outs like all the way out like and we're like oh wait till i do these moves like, wait till they get a load of me like they're playing checkers i'm playing chess yeah, over I'm, here i'm hiding it. Like, I have two. One. when you're like oh i'm washing money because you have yeah. cash and you're just like you give it to someone and then they pay the rent for you, you yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. just wash two grand 
done. <laughs> you, it's like you think cleaning money. Yeah, you think you're like a fucking CEO. Like I'm getting basis points. I'm shaving, <laughs> I'm shaving interest. Wow, I might be able to marginalize the, the, the Q3 2027. And really, what you're doing is you're just smoking crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like you, <laughs> you, you basically at end of year you explain this to your accountant. He's like, you can't do any of that. Yeah, yeah. He's like, what are you even doing? Like, Where'd you learn all these words? <laughs> Kevin Ryan was telling me. He goes, uh, he was like, one of the things he goes, they want you to pay like quarterly payments to the government, right? And then he was like, yeah, you you don't do that. It's like no free loans to the government, whatever. And I told my, I call my accountant. I'm like, we're giving free loans to the government. He goes, you don't think they've thought of that? He's like, yeah, yeah you pay interest if you don't want to do quarterly. I go, yeah. all right then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Your boys over there like fucking fuck the government, dude. dude. He's got a state trooper's head on his foot. Like, yeah. It's like good freeze. It's like the fuck you, you loan. I gave you money, cocksucker. Like, like, yeah, dude, you kill it, bro. Yeah. yeah, I'm calling the accountant. Like, uh, you're not gonna believe what I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't believe what Are I'm looking at. Are you sitting down? Yeah. <laughs> you know who Kevin Ryan is? Yeah. Fuck, man. <laughs> What the? F <laughs> this, this is all. And you guys. Well, you're not in Canada anymore, right? No, I'm in they're all in New York, all U.S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. How'd you get your uh, green card? Yeah. The whole whole fucking procedure. Really, just to marry a Guatemalan lady? Uh, well, you saw visa, right? So I saw a visa. He did that. Yeah. yeah. Is that how you did? Yeah. You I got. Did. I got married. Yeah. An arranged marriage for fifty thousand bucks. <laughs> no, she she she, she, always, she, always, she always she always yeah. jokes. She's like, uh, did, you, did you just marry me for the convenience? I'm like, there's nothing convenient about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this yeah. is less convenient than fifty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know a better yeah, way. Yeah. Why? Was there a better way? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. yeah, I did the whole procedure. You suck off the government officials. You know, blah, yeah, blah, you know, the whole it's easier than flying to Mexico. You could always fly to Mexico, but we're getting. I want to get out of here. Go where? I don't know. Wales. Wales, yeah, you Portugal, Welshman? yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I would. Portugal, what dude. Do you think about Spain that? is Spain is Spain. sick. Yeah, but Spain is fucking like nobody works there. I know. Like it's They're you. Cool, you, get, uh, you get to which go is good over. until you go to any anywhere and you're like, oh right, yeah. no one works. No here. one works yeah. here. But you get to go. Over, you just go out for dinner every night at midnight till four a.m. It's just yeah, everybody's just living the life. It's just the, the life. I, I actually I like. I want like can I know Canada, Prince Edward Island. You want to move to Prince Edward? You want to be like off the map, just somewhere no where no one. It is. Knows. You want to be in one of those. It, it is a fine line between you're like, oh, I like cracked life to like, do I cease to exist? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. You're yes. Like, am I just? Am I even alive? Am I? Yeah. Do I exist anymore? I want to be like a wool sweater somewhere. Like, <laughs> I, just, I don't. I like people like oh, I don't like the cold. I love the cold. Like I'm fucking fat. I like the cold. Yeah. yeah. I mean, West like, Coast Canada is sick. Like my brother lives in Victoria. It's, if, 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 it's That's beautiful, dude. It looks like in the summer. It looks like you're in Hawaii. Yeah, like it's sick. Or I mean, Hawaii is like the ultimate. Like if you're American, ugh. you know, like Hawaii. Oh man, wasn't for me either. Oh, really? Oh, I don't know. It's just cre it's kind of, it's kind of Hawaiian. It's like the uh, it's like one of those things you don't. It's like uh, liking the the offspring too much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I don't know how to explain it, but that's what it feels yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. It's like being really into the offspring. Yeah, you're like yeah. we all a couple songs. Every yeah, that was pretty cool. good. Yeah. Kids on our right was a good song, and you're like, no, 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 no. You're sleeping on Dexter Holland, man. You're sleeping, criminally sleeping on him. And do you know they have a plane? <laughs> they did all their own. Re Nitro Records is a big deal. Yeah, yeah you're like, um. <laughs> And that's Hawaii, you know. Well, you go like Wyoming or something. Yeah, uh, why, yeah, Wyoming's nice and dead, but that no, no ocean. I like uh, ocean, fat, cold, like ocean, fat, cold. Like, I like East Coast. Co I like yeah. being bumped into. Mm. Dude, I was having this. I went I to like being bumped into. <laughs> okay. I, I went to <laughs> needle. You're talking about. I went to. Uh, I, I when I came back, I did like a uh, like uh, my uh, like biometric, whatever we did. You know, yeah, yeah. I, all the blood work, and then the guy oh, was like, nice. "Your you know your stress levels are way too high, and it's fucking shit up." And I was. I was kind of like on that, like I need to get that down. But then I was talking to the guy who owns a cellar, no, and he's like a smart dude. And I was like telling that, and he was like, well, yeah, life's stressful. If you want to do anything, you're going to be stressed out. And I was just like, yeah, that's the other yeah. side of it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me feel better. Yeah. What, your, your cortisol was, you guys got your labs done? Yeah, I got our labs done. That's yeah. exciting. Would you get any mind-blowing information? He's doing fucking injecting um, shit. Injecting. Uh, no, nothing crazy. E. No, no, no. I was talking, e. I was talking to uh, H. Jake Shields about it last night. I was talking about testosterone with him for fucking like an hour because he's all, all into that. Yeah. And he's just like, dude, it's the best. He's like, you just take like 100 milligrams a week. Of test? Of test, yeah. Which is not that much. Like, bodybuilders take 500 milligrams a day. 
Yeah. He's Big like, he's like, you take like a hundred milligrams, like a week, just like a little more energy, right? Oh, he's like, it's great. But he's like, sometimes he's like, he's like, I'll take 200. And it's like, you literally feel like the muscle getting like added to your body. Like, yeah, it's, it's fucking crazy. But, uh, no, I was thinking the one that I did, which, um, they, they put me on was, uh, but they put out, it's like Merrick health. If you know them, you know, that guy like more plates, more dates. Like a Derek. No. Oh and, yeah. Yeah. Probably a big Jack dude yep. from, he's from Vancouver actually, but they, they gave me, um, Cialis every day like low dose Cialis but I don't have any like dick pills yeah but I don't have any ED problems like at all I never have but it's it's blood flow like you should, you should have I don't have dick problems never have at all <laughs> you should add you should get that that's three you should get that to six <laughs> like I now have dick problems never have them at all ever couldn't even no, have I don't them. Know about literally the popsicle stick non-stop it's like a you, splint <laughs> unrelated <laughs> medical <laughs> diagnosis Cialis <laughs> No, they take it for like blood flow because it gives you like really good pumps in the gym. Really? Because it's just like a bl- it's just like a blood flow. It's just no, no. I, I've heard I've heard that. I'm not totally. <laughs> but, uh, but it also I had high blood pressure. <laughs> yeah, and it lowered my blood pressure. <laughs> If you, what if you saw your wife paying off the doctor? Well, yeah, right. <laughs> you go in. She's, she's fucking loving it. She's getting the sex of her life. And she's like, yeah, we did the Cialis thing. She's like sitting on a donut. <laughs> she's always like icing down. She's like, no, 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 don't stop taking him. It's cool. I know it looks like I'm in pain. Really I love muscles. it. Yeah, we got to keep that blood pressure down. I want him to run my shit over with a fucking steamroller. <laughs> and uh, I was, I've been injecting uh, L carnitine. Oh, carnitine. Yeah, no with shit. With just like a amino, I guess amino acid. You're but, like fucking Lee Priest right now, huh? Yeah. Good well, those are just the two that they get. They, I mean, they could put you on fucking like. I love. I'm. I they dig give it. you like the whole shit. They could put you on so much stuff if you're willing to do it. But I never willing anything in my life. I did steroids in college. Oh really? I, See, I, I never done it, so I was like, I was kind of great. Yeah. I, was I did. Uh, how long did you do it for? Two years. I did like a uh, growth hormone, primobolin, Winstrel, Deca. I did like two pretty big cycles. Were you just getting jacked for getting jacked? I was getting what? No, I played college football. I played like uh, for Wagner College. I sucked, but I was a tight end. <laughs> and you're yeah. juiced up. <laughs> yeah, I'm juiced up. I'm just fucking raging everywhere, like trying to flip cars over for RAs and shit, like being a retard. <laughs> just, I liked lifting weights. It was fun. And then um, my cousin knew a state trooper who used to sell steroids. So yeah. I would just buy them from this. I used to get state. Viagra from a guy that was a, a steroid the dealer. Worst yeah. Viagra. <laughs> that, and they did have the, the same guy. They had it's like, always, yeah, it's yeah, always the same, same guy. Yeah, same world. Yeah, this same kid had world. a bucket. It was a five five gallon bucket loaded with shit and he was like what do you need you know, it was like, everything was like 200 bucks and i would just buy it but the growth hormone worked really it worked really well i remember like being like wow this is awesome yeah you probably like recover super well right no like, no problem no, no injuries like your lifts are super strong like instantly yeah and i was like wow this fucking this is great boys we got to tell you about merrick health which is a game changer insurance companies regularly deny progressive treatment options primary care physicians refuse to order comprehensive lab work and standards of care lag years behind the leading research. Merrick Health represents a paradigm shift in how people approach medicine, empowering those who want the most out of their health care and wish to maximize their potential. Me and Danny have both done it. You, it's very simple procedure. You go in, you do your blood work, you assign someone that will help you go through it, make sense of that, tell you where you're lacking, what you can improve upon, what supplements might help, what you know you might need to change in your diet. What And basically, whether you're trying to optimize for energy, whether you're trying to optimize optimize for tea, whatever, whatever it is that you think your problem is, maybe you have a problem sleeping, whatever it is, these people will help actually have you reach your goal. So Merrick Health offers cutting edge diagnostic labs, concierge health coaching, expert clinical oversight. They support clients in achieving their health and fitness goals by leveraging data driven lifestyle and nutrition recommendations along with supplement and prescription treatment options. So they're not just treating the problem. They're here to actually make you feel better. Yeah. And I mean, I've been using them for, you know, months now and it's, yeah. you know, they prescribed me, I got a uh, daily to Dalafil with the wife oh, is like, <laughs> yeah, she is, even though I got no problems there. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it, I'm telling you, they're saying it's, the, this is going to be in the future. Everybody's going to be doing this. It's just blood flow. Gives you sick pumps at the gym. Yeah. That's you that. what you've been saying. I've been telling you, man, it's the, a lot of the things they gave me is just like, it makes going to the gym so much better. You get such better workouts. So I, I've already told everyone, the one thing I regret is just not doing it earlier. So I have more to compare to. So the team maintains rigorous clinical standards they only hire physicians that reflect the standard of excellence and are hungry to continue their education in the years to come as the science evolves you're not going in to just have some fat doctor no 
<laughs> yeah, the no, these guys are all jacked. The, yeah, Every single one they of them. Are pretty, jacked. They are pretty jacked. It's a, yeah, you can tell it's health guys. Yeah. The clinical teams got the most recent cutting edge literature to create the most informed, personalized, evidence based, and impactful protocols for the clients as possible. So you can get expedited onboarding for those interested in working with America Health Provider for personalized treatment options ranging from hormone optimization, cognitive enhancement, hair loss prevention, body recomposition, anything you want. So the the optimization package includes the same elaborate panel that me and Danny both did, and those test results from the Merrick Health clinical team optimizes our personal protocol. To get the exact same panel and medical oversight, click the link in the video description below or go to MerrickHealth.com slash BoysCast and use the code BoysCast to save 10% at checkout. MerrickHealth.com slash BoysCast with the code BoysCast. Great. This is wild the amount of like nine. When I went, when I went to, I went to university in Guelph and I played lacrosse for the first year. Really? And I went, yeah, I went and I, I was like. You know, I so saw I was 18 and I'm a pretty fucking skinny guy. Probably weighed like buck 45 at the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like 6'3", right? Yeah. I was just like fast. And I went and it was just guys that were, you know, 245 pound beasts just juiced up. And I'm yeah. like a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, they're breaking your ribs and shit. Where did you go? You never said Galt? Uh, Guelph. Well, it's like, yeah, it's like Toronto. Is it nice? <laughs> well, right. it's kind of like a fucking San Francisco y, Portland y kind of place. Yeah. Like yeah. the university is the whole city. Yeah, you know? it's like when the. Me and him both. I, went there. I, I went there too. Oh, is that, is that what you guys met? No, no. me and Danny have randomly had like we had kind of the same guys. life. I was yeah. thinking about we both bought a place like right beside each other at the same time. Yeah. Not related. In, tr- like, in Toronto. <laughs> no way. Yeah. yeah. Wow. We didn't know yeah. each other in university. We went but to we the same program. We, like no we had shit. classes together, yeah. And then we didn't know each other. Did you, you didn't play lacrosse too, did you? No. No. <laughs> no, I was just smoking weed the whole time. Woo! Yeah, yeah, fuck you! Do you find that, uh, you know, like you're a car salesman, do you find that like everything else you do, you do like that because that was your like template for how to do things like as you get older? Um, I don't know. I, 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 I kind of treated car sales as like a, like a parachute. Like a, um, well, you're like, if everything else, no matter what, I can always do this. I never feel like yeah. I'm pinched for dough. Like bread, yeah. I'm not like worried or I don't get stressed out about bread. And it's not because like a, I, I'm... And when all else fails, sell cars. You know, it's like a thing. In or a- sell anything, right? Or like anything. if you can yeah, sell. Yeah. I mean, if you can just, if you're decent at buying shit, but like cars. So, but as far as like analytical data, like, I mean, you, you, I think what people don't know or don't grasp quickly about car sales, car salesmen in general have had to have a lot of zero to 60 conversations quickly. You know what I mean? Uh, like, hi, how are you? You're going to spend 45 to a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> with me in like 40 minutes if things go well. Like you didn't come in here by accident. I'm not conning you in anything. Like, right. it's just like you're going to. And then when you, when you spend any amount of money, like if you if you bought a TV with the guy, like by the end of the TV purchase at Best Buy, you're like you kind of like the kid, uh-huh. you know what I yeah, mean? You're yeah, like, yeah. This guy was a good guy. He got me the spe- he told me about speakers that I could <laughs> yeah. get. Yeah, yeah. And like cars is kind of like the same way. So you're like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna lie to my manager. I'm gonna tell him you will come to another dealership. We're gonna trust me, and and I'll show you where I could fuck you, and then you can call me out and lie. That's how I sell cars. And people are like, oh, that's like, a huge oh. move. Telling them where I could fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is where I could fuck you. I'd fuck you right here. The interest rate is where I could. I mark it up two points if I wanted to be an asshole, but I won't. I'll that's the right. listen. I'd, I could. I could probably talk to you. Have come bring you home. Have sex with you tonight. But honestly, I kind of want to see like a long term thing with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to get started off on the right foot. I don't want to fuck on the first date. I want it to be two weeks. You know what I mean? Real like, do convinced real that gentleman. You tried and you said no. <laughs> yeah, it would be weird to watch your wife rim a two hundred and fifty pound car salesman. You know what I mean? Like, and like jerk me off from the back is strange, right? You know what I mean? Like, you're trying to buy a Mercedes. You're not trying to like watch. You know get humiliated right you're not like a <laughs> humiliated cuck fetish guy are you uh, so i don't know I, I think like when you uh go through things you can get you can get there faster I, and your average even like your average fucking any any sales guy who's been in it they've just been tortured by people and then if you go into like certain brands like i sold mercedes and acura so it was like engineers and pricks you know yeah so like I, my dad's I, an engineer and has an acura oh, they're the best yeah <laughs> they're the best <laughs> cars of all time yeah, acuras are like the one uh, I, I used to like where they used to have only nissan maximas for in the 90s huh? oh, the my 90s. first car was like a 95 nissan Maxima. Oh, that's a nice one that, that was car. the best one they ever made yeah and they had the they had the i think it was a 90 which it had the digital the neon yeah. white wipe it would yeah, come yeah, in. yeah the, the the digital my mom uh, had the I, did you have an ivory one yeah that's the best one. It was sick. A four door sports car. Yeah, it was fucking the Nissan Maxima in the nineties. What do you? What do you guys? Uh, you don't have cars in New York. No whips no. now. No, Dude, I went from driving every day of my life to driven once in five years. Really? Do you suck at driving now? 
He I thought you were driving before. No, I was, no, I was the he, same. He, he, he thinks no, I'm, I'm bad at driving. <laughs> well, you could maybe weigh in okay, on this. I'm a, yeah. maybe what he would call is like reckless, where he's in the car being like, oh, you didn't yield for that sign, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, I, this is, you know, I, I don't crash. Like I've done, right. you know, some fender benders, but yeah. it's like I'll, I'm, I'm in uh, control. It's just yeah. that I'm a uh, reckless yeah, human. Yeah. Period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Ryan's like the, the classic car where like when you open the passenger side door, like a month of garbage just comes like. Yes. Oh, I was just talking about this. Yeah, yeah. Your car. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah your car looks like yeah. Uh, two yeah, bars like you have, have been to like basically each move garbage around to just like put your feet down. Yeah, that's kind of Princess yeah. Danny doesn't like this. Dude, life. What, no, dude, what time? I, I was just I, I wanted to fucking drop a cinder block on my wife's head for that. I bought her like a I I get deals on. Like I, I got her fucking wagon. I got her like the yuppie mobile of all time. I open the fucking door. There's coffee cups in every pocket. <laughs> I was like, I want to fucking kick you in the head while you're <laughs> sleeping. I want to do like, the, what's the kick where you kick up and then down? <laughs> like I want to do that while she's like <laughs> asleep, like, <laughs> like, like, like right on the fucking club. bed, like, like that. Like, yeah. I'm gonna fucking you fucking asshole. Yeah, it, it's like no, it's, it's your right didn't really crash, but I remember one time I had a couple big ones though. <laughs> my, my car with a parking brake, like I used to drive standard. Oh like, yeah, like uh, stick shift and. I, I, we had an we had an office in Toronto so where funny. it was on like a slope, and multiple times I drove the car up, just got out of the car, and just watched it come crash into that car. Yeah, yeah like, awesome. like doesn't turn the, doesn't really? turn the keys, nothing. He like just <laughs> yeah, like, you can you like, get out of a stop. <laughs> yes, dude, literally <laughs> comes to a stop and then just like walks out of the car. And I love like, that. That's still great. in drive it's and just yeah. hits the wall. Radio on, windshield wipers on. <laughs> the just, trunk's open up. It just goes right down, <laughs> smash. Oh, dude, that's one time the guy was in the car. He I go hunts like all right what do you want to do <laughs> dude i had a really good one of those i i uh i was used to be a referee for uh ho hockey and lacrosse really and uh i pulled an all-nighter once when i was probably 14 went to the game <laughs> Popping yeah. chips all night. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm fucking. We rented fucking Street Fighter Two. That was that. I'm 14. I had to ref like three games. I don't even know like where I am. And it was so. This is like my main move. Is the the parents would yell at me, and then I would just whatever they yelled at, I would act like I was about to call that anyway. Like I basically let them ref the game. They go, oh. you didn't see that fucking high sticking? I go, yeah, obviously I f saw that high sticking. <laughs> like, I, I costed let, my son his college education here. I would just let them dictate. But so anyways, I had all nighter, hadn't slept, drove home, just felt fell asleep while I was driving like at a light then just woke up crashed into the guy behind me and then he came out like super gangster dude right oh, no. and then he ended up not having insurance Perfect. so yeah yeah exactly right he was like yo what the fuck and I was like well let's call insurance he's like no we can't do that blah blah and he starts going yo that like necklace you got what's that like, he, so I yeah. gave him my necklace and then I in my back of my car I had some video games so I probably did like 1500 bucks worth of damage on this guy's car wow. gave him my necklace probably worth 150 bucks no, sure. maybe 90 i don't know what it was worth canadian <laughs> necklace and then like two fucking yeah like some twisted metal or some shit <laughs> oh i love this game <laughs> i want to play with sweet tooth he's, he's, he's thank you he like grabs yeah, yeah, it and yeah. goes right back to this guy's trunk couldn't even open <laughs> i know how to get the cheat code i'm gonna get mr grim <laughs> <laughs> this guy's so pissed he loves twisted metal too though how'd oh, you yeah. know <laughs> Where were you? Were you in, uh, were you in Canada? This was Newmarket, Ontario, I believe. Wow, you guys got super gangsters up there. Don't you have a lot of uh, Hell's Angels up there? That's Montreal's um, their hub. Montreal's yeah. their hub, yeah. That's great. I that's like that. Well, that's like everything. Montreal's like the last place where uh, the Italian mafia is like really yeah. popping off still. Like they still have like hit, like targeted hits like regularly. Yeah. Like where like like right now happening right now where like like you know like uh, big Italian <laughs> mobsters getting like shot up in parking lots. That's and stuff. excellent. Yeah. That's great. News. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I in love the West that. Coast. They're all Indian gangsters. They're all like. Have you ever watched the? If you ever watched the like wrestling documentaries, yeah. the uh, all the Montreal guys, they were all like mob tapped in. Yeah. Really, yeah. one wrestler, the Vice, Dark Side of the Ring, or whatever. And there was this one dude, and he was like a big behind Montreal like gangster, like enforcer dude. But they get their wrestler. hooks into you, you know. Yeah, yeah they're. I mean, the wrestlers are the toughest. Like, uh, they're the toughest guys in the world. Like, you'd never mm -hmm. fuck with a wrestler. A buddy of mine boxed a wrestler in like a celebrity boxing thing, and the second, he, like, he's a big guy, and I thought he, I was like, yeah, this will be easy. And I was the second I was like, who are you fighting? And he was like, oh, this guy used to be a pro wrestler. And I was like, don't do it. <laughs> like, like, you're like, I don't know what you think you can do, but these like, by, I wouldn't fight a girl wrestler. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm like yeah. 250 pounds. I would, I would not. They fight. take punishment too. Dude, they will beat the fucking 
ass off you. Like, yeah, yeah they're tough as shit. Did like, you ever see that where they did? Uh, on, I think it was on one of the Dark Side of the Rings. They like the WWF or whatever E in the '90s. Someone had an idea to do a real boxing tournament mm-hmm. where they were gonna all like box each other, but for real. Jesus Christ! And then it like ended up being like this disaster because these guys were like, "I don't want to box." Yeah. Like they're like, I don't want to actually like have to go fist fight fucking Lex Luthor or something. Yeah, Luger, yeah, Lex right? Luger, yeah, yeah. Like I don't want to have to go fist fight him or like box him. And like it ended up being like this. Like they were just like it was a big mistake to do it. But there's a whole episode on it where they did this like round robin. This one I can't remember who. Won. Wrestling lore is the best. Lore. It's more oh, exciting yeah. than football or any other sport. It's like I wasn't a big wrestling guy, but watching stories about you know like Hulk Hogan sex tapes where he crawls off the chick and says my. Ch-. Do you ever see that? The Hulk Hogan. He's like, yeah, he's oh, it's Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> the sushi. That's that's the first thing he talks about it's you know how crazy they are when like hulk hogan the wholesome the wholesome one is yeah. like like he's like fucking a girl in a hotel room he's like oh oh sushi <laughs> <laughs> like, like, fucking what like how fucking ct bro like I, the chris uh, benoit killing his mother the love sponge's wife too wasn't it yeah yeah, yeah. He, didn't, and he wanted it right didn't he like egg that yeah, yeah. He's like, come on come on terry why don't you slam her <laughs> terry come on terry <laughs> hey mr belay you want to come inside my wife i'd love to suck a cream pie out of her <laughs> 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 you done in there? <laughs> you done in there? It's all you're really giving her some business. I love that. Oh, shit. the best part of that documentary was that uh, he had to go up and be like, uh, they showed the size of his dick, and that was the damages. And he was like, well, yes, Terry has a six inch dick, but like Hulk Hogan probably has like a 12 or 13. <laughs> <laughs> when he's the Hulk, it's huge. Yeah, when he's the Hulk, he's the Hulk. The damages that was done to his brand wow. by showing his fucking dick. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Hulk's got a medium dick? <laughs> well, no, Terry Bollea has a medium dick. Terry Bollea. <laughs> Hulk. How's yeah, the fucking brother. Hulk day? Hulk's got a huge yeah, cock. Hulk, huge cock. Yeah, yeah. So it did some real, uh, real some damage. I wonder why that's why his son's getting all those DUIs. <laughs> his son Nick. He's like, my dad's got a fucking medium cock. <laughs> Just racing his like, viper through like, his What else did you lie to me about? <laughs> yeah, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> Get back with mom. Where's Brooke? <laughs> Could have had Hulk's cock. You got I fucking took your Terry's cock. Advice. Now I find out you got a five inch hammer. <laughs> what did Nicky do now? <laughs> did he bring my cock up? <laughs> when he's talking to the cops about his kids' DUI. <laughs> Did Nicky bring my cock up? Yeah, he's got yeah. a real problem. With that. He's got to get over it. <laughs> he's been having a real problem dealing with it. That's fucking awesome. Oh. That's so funny. You guys talk about that. Like between the trash in your car, I was literally just looking at like these two things this morning, and then oh, well, you're I, like a car guy, so I could see you being like you keep like a nice like you, yeah, you, know, I, you, you car you, wash nearby. You, you, you like you do like just like you enjoy like a Sunday just detail. That's the biggest thing I miss. Oh, I know. We have in a car is having a bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got my stuff with me. My, yeah, I got you have my Burger really King wrappers. Legitimately, you have a closet. Yeah, you just can drive T-shirt. Around. Yeah, yeah. But I change I agree. clothes. Have, have all your stuff. That was the biggest thing that I miss is like being at the comedy club and I'm like, oh, I don't have all my belongings with me. Yeah, all the time. yeah. I have my backpack outside with wheels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got a fucking to-go bag at all times. Yeah. It has one of those carts, like you know, like the people who take to the grocery store who yeah, don't yeah, drive. Yeah. And yeah, just got wheels, <laughs> all the shit around the everything side. in there. You got your driver's license and your glove box. Do you think uh, there's that one of the biggest waste of money is like the guy who leases like the fancy Porsche? You know, you know, it's. It, it, I think just people like car. It's like porn. It's mm. like you know, like you, this is a fun experiment, and I don't want to embarrass anybody. But like, what kind of porn do you watch? The answer will always surprise you. I don't care who you ask. Like for real, what do you watch the most of? Guy looking, the guy who look most looks like me, fucking the hottest chick. <laughs> See, like I would. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but that's hundred percent true. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're like you're zooming into the guy. It's like her. Like you're like, oh, it kind of yeah, looks no, like. I'm kind of. I'm, t- I'm a little tall. taller than yeah. him. He's tall. That bed does look pretty short. It's <laughs> tall. I mean, if I'm being honest, probably the guy that makes the less noise. Like yeah. uh, that's my biggest thing that I can't watch is a guy that's fucking too wordy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut it down. Yeah, yeah, dude. The, they is, do the dirty talk. Yeah. Guy has to only be wearing Timberlands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thug Timberland, guy, nothing. Uh, Confederate flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of my favorites is I saw porn once, and there's a guy, and the only thing he was wearing was a carpal tunnel bracelet on his oh. wrist. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. <laughs> He's like fingering her with it. That, it was so funny. Go, he had fucking... Nothing on except he had Bro. to have the carpal tunnel bracelet. That's like a that's like a boner. That's like a the pussy napkins. Yeah, for girls. like that thing is fucking. I was like, but dude, carpal tunnel's so bad he like can't fuck. <laughs> Yeah. So he's like, he can't even, he's just like, he can't yeah. put any weight on it. So he's like, I gotta wear it still. He's getting, like, he's getting like fucking, yeah, baby girl. You like that Stuck shit? in the hair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
<laughs> oh shit, I got a little snag here. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Cut this out, edit this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Didn't mean to be. Yeah, he's like, shit, that's pretty in there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he just like takes it off. It's still stuck. Like, you know, he takes <laughs> it off. Yeah, he's it's just like, like <laughs> His dick's down. She's bummed out. <laughs> but, but what was the porn thing? What were you saying no, about it? No, they say like, I think it's like to, to quench the thirst. Like, I'm I uh, i not into it. I just I have the Doug 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 below. I have the Doug the Miro garage. I have like a just cars that won't lose value, but guys in general, it is a waste of money and like leasing Porsche. Porsche is actually it's, un- <laughs> it's unfortunate. But if you're a true truly gaming the market, you're trying to basically find cars that will have sustainable value for the longest time, like a Land Cruiser, a 911, believe it or not. It's unfortunate because it's like they don't make a lot of 911, so you can't get one. Like if we wanted a 911 right now, we couldn't call. We could have. Yeah, you can't get one. You can't get one. Like it's impossible. It's like a watch. Is that so it's limited, yeah, limited like, supply? Yeah. Like yeah. you got to be like, have you've bought five yeah. Porsches before? And they laugh at you. And yeah. it's like laugh at me. I'll fucking burn this building down. You <laughs> cock sucking fucking. And Porsche guys are the are the worst. They're the worst. Like my my cousin's one. He's the fucking worst. They know the colors. He's like in the I'm um, like the okay, paint. You're talking sample. about Jerry Seinfeld right now. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld. Shoshana, <laughs> I'll take it for a cruise. <laughs> What's my daughter, my buddy's daughter, so hot for? <laughs> what time's her high school get out? With those big knockers, <laughs> they shake in my old air cooled Porsche. <laughs> but not, like well, Porsche it, culture is is like a vapid, and it's basically guys that are like, dude, where am I? I like, the thing I like about hanging out with other Porsche owners is, um, where the hell am I going to talk about getting uh, custom painted air vents for thirty five hundred dollars? And not yeah, be like a complete right. douche. <laughs> and you're like, don't worry, buddy, nowhere you are. Like you're uh, a fucking. That was the big thing uh, where I grew up is people used to meet at the Wendy's parking lot, actually Wendy's oh, and Tim yeah. Hortons. Oh hell and, yeah. And uh, they'd yep. have their souped up Honda Civics, and it'd just be like fourteen fucking off white, like you know, like a dark Italian, maybe a Persian, like yep. just nine. Teen guys standing there outside their things, just showing their new seatbelt covers off. Just yeah, revving I remember. That. I remember this one kid. That's he cool, had uh, he had a <laughs> pretty a sick Honda <laughs> Civic, and then he got this tiny little steering wheel. Yep, like it was like it was probably like this little chain thing. one. Was it yeah. the chain? Uh, one? No, it wasn't a chain one. It, chain like, wheel, it looked funny. like it almost looked like the Cybertruck steering wheel. Oh, yep. You know, like that. that yep. But it was this was twenty years ago, and it was like it was this tiny, the, like a racing car, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it was almost like a go kart steering wheel. So you're that the, so that guy's a badass, a certified fucking badass. I mean, when we were fourteen. He was yeah, it was sixteen. It was. Well, I remember when I was in high school, a few of the parking lot guys would like date girls in high school, and it was like big deal. This guy would pick up, and you're like, that car must be a trillion dollars. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's saying that, that Fiero too. must be a trillion dollars. Yeah, wow, a billionaire. Is that a Honda Del Sol? With fucking, yeah, fucking. He doesn't give those seatbelts to anyone. <laughs> yeah, you can't even get those. They're on back order from APC. Yeah. Oh, he's got an intake. Holy shit, my pussy soaked. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got the hottest girl in school with a fucking. That's. I mean, that's tuner culture is a, a thing, but I kind of wish sometimes that I was into like. It seems like some people that are into cars, into just collectibles. It seems like it's a uh, ego. It also, it seems like a fun thing. I mean, I've tried to pretend that I care about things, but I just can't. What do you spend a disproportionate <laughs> amount of money? On? Zero. I just nothing. Don't, I don't buy anything. I've yeah. yeah. Nothing. Yeah. You just live. Yeah. There's not one thing that jumps off your sheet that you. There's say. nothing like that food? I would buy that I'd be like. Uh, about. I yeah, I mean he doesn't, but like I'll go for nice dinners like occasionally, yeah, like with my wife or whatever, but like nothing crazy. But I do like a nice meal. He hates it. Yeah, like he like literally goes. He goes. It's worse food. He, 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 right, we literally we <laughs> go to like a three like. Michelin star restaurant. Ryan's right? yeah. just like hot dogs and macaroni is just as good as good this. for you, bro. Yeah. Hey, that's that's admirable. I mean, yeah, to be able to turn the uh, to turn the fucking. Uh, shades up on that i mean well Dave, the truth is though as you get older and i feel i feel like it, it comes across like if anything i go against my true nature because people think you're like putting it on yeah. you know yeah, yeah like yeah, you're yeah. just like oh, i don't like this food and they're like oh you're too cool like you know yeah. what i mean if, so I, if anything you just pretend you're like oh yeah it's good like uh-huh. because you don't want to come across like you're trying to fucking be that guy or yeah. something it comes, M- yeah. michelin man like you're the yeah. you're the michelin yeah. star dickhead or like the guy that's like i don't have a phone i don't do it comes across like you're trying to you're doing it to make some point yeah, you can't yeah. fucking win either way and i'm like <laughs> and if i'm like i'd rather like uh, yeah I'm, I, I like a I don't want to I'll just blame it on my wife like my wife had a sick job it's so the best I'm, excuse and I'm like yeah she has a sick job we get to go to hotels it's true she could write like she had her she could write them all trips off trips are actually my thing that's the trips. one where I'll spend the like money. you'll travel like you'll yeah, go yeah, away like, like go away and like go to the Galapagos paying money for a chore yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah right, right. to pack yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Administ- a second administration job like I don't have enough administration <laughs> lucky you yeah yeah <laughs> 
two, five days of airports and <laughs> two days of laundry for your wife to do after you get back. And yeah, yeah. legitimately, yeah. You're, you're you're booking you're booking like oh where, where are we gonna go here? How do we get there? This it's yeah, yeah legitimately you're bossed yeah. around by your chick. I would pay not to do that. <laughs> yeah, to do abs less than nothing. <laughs> you're gonna end up in the Caribbean or something, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna have like a jet ski business in the Caribbean when you retire. <laughs> you're like, hey man, <laughs> like, for real. That's like true living like yeah. uh the people who don't want any yeah fishing uh, fishing charter yeah yeah like yeah, a yeah, fishing yeah. charter that's, that's nothing those dudes just take people out on the boat buy the boat and then the boat pay for the boat by just taking people out on the boat you don't even have to drive the boat you, you don't have to fish you're just the guy you're, you're like the, the guy. probably the that that's all you real, need is a hat you need yeah, to ride yeah, a hat a cool the shirt the real life hack Captain is Ryan. being like you're 35 years old you have three million dollars in stuff, you know that, and then you're just like, I could do whatever I want forever. To me, that's the whenever people talk about all the ways to, but that's the only way that you're like, okay, you, everything else is yeah. just like, you know, preference. That's the only way that you're like, you kind of beat the game now. You're, yes, you're doing it. The difference from five million to a hundred million is so far, it's not even worth talking about, and like. Three and a half to six million is like that magic number they say. I think they said something like, well, you're like, oh, I have two hundred grand a year for the rest of my life. Yeah, well, yeah. You, you're sitting there with interest for forever. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that not doable. There's guys right now just being like, I'm working two jobs that both pay, pay 150 a year, making 300 grand a year. Yep. I'm living cheap as fuck. You know, I'm going to have two mil by, you know, 30. 40, yeah. That'll turn into four by 40. I'm out. They say, I think my, my buddy told me, this is like $300,000 is the perfect amount of money to make before people start. Like after that, Family starts asking you for money. Ah. Uh, expectations go to like weird places. I remember, and that kind of like you start buying with, stuff just for the sake of it. Yeah, you're like, I have some friends who make a lot of money, and they but they work like you know at a bank and yeah. for like eighty hours a week, and they're like they literally just buy stuff because they're like uh, I have to to, to make myself feel better. What I do. That's like a why am I wor- like why am I working eighty hours a week, and then they just fill their house with shit that they're Milwaukee really tools. Yeah, you have to look no, at that course. Like, you know, be like, this is why I do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I can have this, but it's yeah, like, yeah. It's like, you're like a sick car, and you're like, I just. <laughs> Have to I like I can't know. justify living like it's this like putting those. a Rolex on before you eat a crack whore out. Kind of, you know I mean? yeah. like, it makes me feel better. It's like it's yeah, sta- this flies yeah. on your mouth, bro. <laughs> like, you have like fucking a toxic goo on your lips, and this flies on your mouth. Like I, actual stink <laughs> line. Can you even see what time it is on that thing? Like it's fucking covered in goop, bro. <laughs> sure. I, my, I go I go to war with my buddy who's a finance. He's a finance guy, and I love him to death. But he's he's like he's got you know the golden handcuffs theory. He's, he's making you know two three hundred grand a year, but he and he he buys stuff, and we he's like ah your life's fucking crazy. I would never do this and clearly our life is fucking crazy you know yeah. we're, we're thinking about becoming a Jabberwocky and a fucking uh, sure. a magician <laughs> you know a street magician on Fremont Street clearly the he's not going tax under you my have a double life too because you have the store right I, well I don't have I don't have a store I, I, I did have a store that was a mistake I have an it's online now that runs itself I have like a building that just kind of two girls work full time my wife they all work full time Packaging, shipping, ma- ma- I got ma- you. Market. So you're like the Harmozy of the business, where you become the marketing arm. <laughs> yeah, I just wear nose strips and get yeah. yanked. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just trying to turn my wife into a guy. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking sticking her with tea. Yeah, yeah. Be a guy. Like, just become a guy. You have time now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the finance guy, he's, he's, he's like, he's living the life where he's like, he's chained there for, for years. And I'm like, you know, 10 years go by, like, we're not spring chickens anymore. Like, we were, we're 30 year old. Like, why? He was a cool, like, really cool guy. He was a Formula Four racer and shit. This guy was just like the coolest guy yeah. back in the day. It's like one of your buddies that had Edge. And then he went, he's got, gotten a little bit of problems and he went the other way in, in like life. He married like a straight and narrow. And his life is like so straight and narrow now. But I'm like, your license plate on your M three in high school was six nine oh six nine on purpose. Like yeah. you were the wildest guy I knew. And now you find like, it still in him? Like do you do Nope. You, no. It's all gone. Interesting. Yeah. I know. It's he's the one but of the, that for him might be the better He says it's the best thing that ever yeah, happened. Yeah, he's like dude like mm, that's you know he suspect. might be fucking doing magic on Fremont Street yeah. right now. Right? I think if like, he came on like this trip he'd be like hey man I found fucking heroin. You want to fuck these fucking hookers with me? Oh, to eat them up? Oh, yeah. Pussy, make them come on me. Yeah. I have a few of those bodies yeah. that they're that they guy. Lie. And then when it comes out, you're like, yeah. that's, you know what it is? It's, you never when like the boys go out and it's, uh, you know, like 2, 3 a.m. And you're probably like, all right, rap. And the one guy that's like, come on, guys, we can't. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't make me go back there. You know? Like, I'm not, I'm not going back. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stay. <laughs> like, you're packing up to leave. And like, I'm staying. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, man. I called my wife this morning. I'm staying. I, you know what I told her? I said, I called her father and said, I beat the shit out of her. So he knows for real it's over. Hey, father-in-law. Yeah, I hit your fucking daughter. I want you to know it's over for real. Tell the kids I love them. Yeah, tell the kids I love them. My name's Glenn now. 
<laughs> I'm different. I live in Vegas. The guy, because the guy's inside there. He's going to come back out, dude. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> yeah. But like when? You know what I mean? Like when? I mean, I'm sure you guys have these buddies. especially Actually, cocaine. cocaine they all become, co- those are the cocaine guys. Actually, they, I don't yeah. know if I can tell oh, this wish. story. This their wife's all like, oh, don't, be, you know, be out. Yeah, is right. I don't know if I can tell. I can, I can probably tell this. Well, just don't, don't use it. Matter. Well, it's, 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 What's that? It's my wife who always drags me to them. Wow, you lucky son of a bitch. No, it's not lucky though, because like I, I'm not like my wife's not like go get a bunch of lap dances. It's just like I sit there and then I'm like, okay. She likes the vibe. She just likes the yeah. She just like likes the party. Wow, you're so lucky, fellas. Whether you're looking for a core that won't fit, arms worth flexing, whatever you might be, you want you don't want the you don't want to be the guy walking around saying no leg day. Whether you're trying to get jacked in the bottom half. FitBod is the mm-hmm. app for you that keeps your exercises fresh, yourself accountable. I just moved into a new place and I actually got a pretty fire gym, so I'm oh, yeah. pretty pumped about that. And it's uh, my old gym. It was a lot of old people. Now everyone there is fucking Jack. So I gotta yeah. step up the game. Yeah, Keeps with your motivation, with your personal goals in focus, FitBod customizes every workout and adapts as you improve to Im- avoid plateaus in your journey. So very easy to use. You put in the equipment that's at the gym. It helps keep things fresh. If you're on, if you're traveling, it'll tell you. You know, sometimes you're in a gym that doesn't have as much equipment. It will tell you exercises that you can do with limited resources. Uh, it keeps track of everything for you, which is a very important part. Yeah, all your muscle groups, all your different muscle fresh. groups. How 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 long? Uh, it, it makes sure that you're not uh, doing things too close together. Yeah. You can kind of keep too tra- far apart or too far apart. It creates a personalized workout routine based on your goals, fitness level, available equipment. As your fitness level rises, you can do more complicated things. Tracks your muscle recovery, and this has been fine tuned by certified personal trainers. Is basically like having a personal trainer, but for a fraction of the price. You can learn movements the right way, and uh, with over a thousand demonstrated videos, that they also have available for you. So. Lock in and
we're dating like where she's going to New York for trips, right? She's got an executive job where she was buying for TK Maxx, right? <laughs> like mm-hmm. she's a buyer. She, she was buying, you know, a million dollars worth of clothes a week. So we go, she'd go to New York every like, Tuesday and Wednesday on a train, paid for a trip, nice hotels, blah, blah, blah. She's like, want to go to New York with me? We're, we're like, now we're in for like a year. We're dating. We're in love. We're moved into, we, we, you know, we're full on. We know we're going to get married. So we go to New York and, uh, <laughs> I remember the, the mental note that I made. <laughs> this is like, oh, it was like 2009. Yeah. Right? So You're like, thinking chitching. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right. So uh, we're at dinner at like somewhere now. It was uh, Beauty in Essex when it was good. Yeah. Remember the Beauty in Essex is like mm-hmm. the pawn shop. Oh, it's no, in New York. Yeah, it's in yeah, the yeah, meatpacking yeah, yeah. or whatever. So we're in Beauty in Essex having like a nice dinner. And uh, I was like, uh, can I tell you something? She's like, yeah. I was like, I did something crazy. She's like, oh my God, what? And I was like, remember that, remember that conversation we had like, we were drunk and we were dancing. We used to dance in the living room. You told me like you, you like chicks, and she's like, "Not really." Not really. <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah." I was like, well, uh, I put an ad on Craigslist to have a threesome. She's like, "What? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say?" I was like, we're gonna, "We're gonna have." I'm getting like the the hottest Russian girls ever are replying to it. I'm like, "This, I'm gonna fuck it. This is gonna be." <laughs> and I'm like She's like Are you a fucking pervert Is there something <laughs> Fucking wrong with you She's like I fucking love you Like are you fucked up Are you a fucking Sex fuck Freak And I was like No No I, No Yeah you're like I thought you You like You want to do this That's what you said You'd like to It was yeah. It was the fucking Gutting of all guttings oh. I was like No no like i took the ad down she's like what do you think i was gonna stay up all night doing coke and fucking some russian girl on a business trip we're seven not doing eight. the coke either <laughs> so i was like what i gonna call my guy <laughs> like i was so fucked we were like oh, we had a so knockdown like sitting in silence I, like it was a knockdown dinner. drag i fight for two for two hours like oh. in the cab out of the restaurant and i was like i'm sorry i'm sorry i thought it was like it's what i thought you wanted i was I like you were cool we're gonna do it at home we're fucking we'll do it where you don't know anybody you know what i mean like no she's like are you fucking weird you fucking weird shit that's the kind of stuff you're into i was like no nah, nah. it was fucking brutal so my wife doesn't like chicks wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. it turns out she lied yeah fucking li- yeah fucking lion sack of shit or i just remembered it she was probably like i like like fucking chicks like yeah, small yeah, yellow was, chicks yeah, yeah, or whatever or she's like i don't know it's like i like them aesthetically yeah not for sexual purposes C- clearly yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> clearly fucking <laughs> to be honest i had a like a kind of similar one like when i was probably like 23 i dated some girl that was like you know obviously we're together but like i'm not an idiot like if something happens on the road whatever and then i brought that up like you know six months later like yeah obviously we kind of have a thing where she doesn't care if and she goes what the fuck and i well you said she goes i didn't mean like sleeping with another girl i mean like if you got in trouble or went to jail <laughs> yeah i know i know that's, 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 that's what i meant too <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 23 that's how i bust my wife's balls i'm always like uh I'll, like we'll be on public and if we're like arguing um, i'll do two things i'll be like just found out we're not in an open relationship after 15 years yeah. <laughs> i'll tell like the waitress like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll act like a wigger, oh, like oh, hard as shit. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like at restaurants in front of waitresses. Like nice restaurants. Like, stop it! Stop it! And yeah. Like, yeah, go, we'll go get the oysters. I mean, that. Like real corny, like corny, cringy shit. Yeah. Just to fuck with her, dude. Wow. I used to have awesome. my uh, my uh, uh, ex. I dated for a while. She was like Indian, but she grew up where they speak Spanish. So she like went to school speaking Spanish. Oh, that's and, confusing. Uh, fucking like ex, some expat shit. Whatever. She spoke yeah. Spanish. Um, and uh, we would always do a thing where she would pretend she doesn't speak English and we'd talk to people at the bar and I'd be like, dude, this girl, I've been, we've been dating for six months. She don't speak a fucking word of English. <laughs> so then I'd have conversations about her with her there and then she'd be like, see, like whatever. Yeah, that's we'd, awesome. <laughs> that's like a fun a, one. a bit we were pretty yeah, aggressive That's a with. good bit though. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Help me. Yeah. <laughs> angel shot. Angel <laughs> shot. Angel yeah. shot. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, she, I told her I'm rich. She doesn't fucking know. She's like, oh, money is? <laughs> <laughs> broke. Yeah, she doesn't know shit. You see, yeah. That's fucking... You had India. Did you say that was Indian mafia? <laughs> oh yeah, West Coast Canada. Oh, oh what yeah, is like that? The, the Tam, like the Tamils, and I know they're not Indian, but they're I think Sri Lankan, oh. Sri Lankan. But there's all these like all the like gang dude. There's they have like shootouts like big time. My high and school, they had that. There was like I, really, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in the West Coast, they're like all the gangsters are basically like Indian or um, like Sri Lankan, and they are fucking <laughs> vicious. I've, I've told this there's, there's, before, and, there's, and there's native gangsters Like native Like indigenous native. But the Tamils Are yeah, the ones native to mess with This tattoo g- gangsters yeah. No those are, <laughs> like, we, no, yeah. no we don't have those ones <laughs> that, like, Two 
It was like the Maoris or whatever. Yeah, the Maoris, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, gangsters yeah. too. <laughs> but they have the natives ones. The Umlots. Tamils came to my high school and they got in a big fight with the Italians. And the Italians, we used to have like a gang of Italians that kind of were like, you know, this is when, you know, Sopranos is big and everything, yeah. like wear the full cap of suits. And yeah. they kind of thought they were like real Hell Italian yeah. gangsters. And they might have been, you know, connected in some which way to oh, yeah. doing some small time crime. But the, they got in a fight with the Tamils. The Tamils probably uh, like maybe... 15 20 honda civic showed up and then the the tamils got all the fucking genos around and the main tamil made the gene the two main genos kiss his shoes in front of everyone what yeah they roll so deep there's so many of them really yeah yeah that's just yeah gonna be a they're just like, 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 fucking, like nunchucks yeah yeah, yeah 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 there's like they're popping out of fucking like rickshaws and shit oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're in like tw- 20 30 of them yeah there's gotta be like that's the because that Tamils, that's interesting. That's really interesting. I've yeah. never heard that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So, so random. Yeah, that's exciting. He's right. The oh yeah, what was I gonna say that? Um, the, but you, so he always talks about probably the uh, the biggest way that you can fuck up your life is choose the wrong girl. You know, obviously, oh, yeah. you know, go bankrupt and move to Vegas is a which way. But like, what do you, what do you think's like the biggest? Uh, like the biggest way that a dude can the one mistake everyone always makes in their twenties that like fuck shit up for them. Mm, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Damn. Um biggest thing you could fucking like a lot of people go you know just house poor on some shit they can't yeah. afford like uh yeah i you know believing a false uh believing a retard believing a moron ah like like finding a boss that's not that talented but you think he's Taking the man his system yeah like oh this guy's the man he's like a 600 i call him like 600 thousand airs yeah <laughs> like they, we have them in ryan they're like wannabes that drive jaguars and land rovers like not the good they're not driving full body range rovers they're buying like velars yeah yeah you know like you have the velar it's a shit box you have the discovery it's a shit box you have the jaguar the f type no one wants it yeah that's um, a piece of shit they're, they're like the wannabes 600 thousand yeah. but people will like believe those guys systems yeah. And like if you have like a I mean thing. the thing is if you have a crazy system you're not fucking just putting it on Instagram. Yeah. And like if it's if working so fucking good why are you talking to me? Yeah, exactly. You're like yeah, you're just because they need have, they need an apprentice. They're like working yeah. out their system on you, kind of. Yeah, the way that like a you are a the talks system. To like, like the girl he's dating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are like, the system. Like they're like, yeah, the system is me fucking you believing that I have all <laughs> these answers that I'm cool and as then shit. giving me money. Yeah. Like that's the system. You're saying like it could be like a construction guy. Like you know you're working yeah. for a construction guy and you're like, oh, this is guy's figured it out. And then you follow him for ten years and the next thing you know he's in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's in jail. He's on his third wife. He's got uh, you know fifty cars and you're you're at thirty five dollars an hour in your mid thirties. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're calls you up at like midnight to yeah. go like strip the fucking copper. Yeah, house. he owns you. <laughs> yeah, for, for yeah. Like, following bad advice to its conclusion. Yeah, yeah. And like and you're like I just gave this guy fifteen years of my fucking life. Yeah, uh, I mean that. That's bad habits one. yeah bad habits i mean obviously that's pretty fucking like broad but you know what i was kind of thinking uh, i was thinking yesterday when i was talking to people that like probably a, the same way that dan because he always says that like choosing the wrong woman which is tr- true but there's guys that like choose the wrong woman but she don't like she don't really affect them always it can yeah. be yeah but i was thinking staying single too long like, yeah dude i had a, a buddy that we went back to he had his, his house a while ago and then he he's like probably 45 and he's kind of like just been on the scene on every dating app forever you know probably make does like, he get laid yeah it does all right i yeah. mean you know if you're 45 and you got a bit of money you just you just find the right pool you're gonna it doesn't matter yeah. eventually you're gonna yeah. find your pocket a lot of work, where you're, though it is a lot of work a lot of work, a lot of work. he had a single, he had hooks in his roof because he's like has a fucking sex swing and shit now oh, and you're just like God. this because you can't like that's where it goes you know you're, yeah yeah you're, you're just, just a pervert yeah 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 you're like you're like that was it uh is burn after cool reading animal? yeah you're, you're george clooney and burn after yeah, reading where you discuss it over the fuck machine that you built and you kick it while crying you're just like what I like this. You're like you're fucking your dildo yeah, arm yeah. that you were gonna like fuck with a girl. You're a f- yeah. I have friends. Yeah, who maybe t- turning like a twenty year old phase into like a full time identity forever. Yeah, yeah. This is like I'm, I'm basically like a glorified fucking crystallized pervert. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I, I've crystallized my perversion instead yeah. of being like a sick dude. It's it's just switches into a pervert. Yeah, yeah. You're like I, you like you have it down so well, and you realize there's like a like a, you know your hundred percent closing ratio types of women. You <laughs> yeah, know, and yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, stupid exactly. ones. Yeah, yeah. I you're can't just doing it now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you're just going through the motions, and that my dad, my dad kind of put me onto that young. He was like, oh, we had like this cool uncle. He was like the man. He was like the biker. He always had dope chicks. He was steroided out, big fucking. Uh-huh. He knock anybody out. Yeah. Fucking, he's cool. And then uh, he would always be like, yeah, Tommy's cool. He's a good guy. But he don't tell you the four nights a week he's got to jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like six, you know. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> he's like, yeah, Tracy's pretty hot now, but. She's got a lot of miles on her. He don't tell you about the four nights. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
don't know. <laughs> six year old. Yeah, like six or seven. He's like, yeah, he's those guys. You, but you get a nice girl, and you'll be a lot happier. And yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. That's a it is it, the one thing I think about a lot, though, is it's amazing. It's like no matter who you are, like you can't escape like the. It was just a chick ruin in your life that you like like it's crazy like when you see like a guy like Jeff Bezos or whatever yeah, like yeah, yeah. literally like he paid a hundred billion dollars to get rid of his wife yep you're like that guy you're like you have all the money in the world you can't still escape this bullshit like and, it's and not he, like, and he imported a new problem yeah Tony Gonzalez's huge new yeah you could see the problem written all his over newscaster it. Latina girlfriend that looks totally unnatural with him oh yeah she said she was she she married she was married was she married Tony, Tony Gonzalez Yep. Really? And then he's like, Tony Gonzalez? Uh, tight end. She's like, do you want to have Tony on the boat over for 4th of July? He's like, ha, 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 yes. <laughs> oh. And it's just pictures of him with Tony Gonzalez uh. and his chick. And I'm like, oh, that's like the cuckiest shit I've ever heard in my life. Sure, have your gigantic all all pro tight end ex-husband <laughs> over here. Yeah. Just, just shaking your hand, just doing what he's having. Oh, he's yeah. sucking cream pie. But I'm him sure she's, she's not getting, she probably has a rock solid prenup. But just, you oh, know, yeah. Bezos yeah. is probably just like, fuck, man, this is going to cost me so much money and it is worth it. I I, I guess. Fuck. Yeah, good like for you. 100 bill and he goes, worth it. Yeah, worth it. Worth it. I mean, the bad, the, a bad wife ruining, uh, ruining a, a bad chick is a great, I've seen it happen. You so have to have kids times. with them for it to really mess you up, though. Yeah, probably. yeah, yeah. Because there's no going. You know, you there's so many things that come in. You know, you can't leave the wife. Blah blah blah. You does he have it. kids? Does Bezos have kids? Well, they're always going to be in your life. That's why. Like this yeah, person yeah. is in your life for. But, um, but did Bezos have kids? He must have. He's got. Kids. I just think yeah, he, he thinks he treats the United States public as his children. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're all my children. Yeah, you're all like, and I am Santa Claus. So uh, order yeah, some yeah, stuff yeah, off of Amazon Prime. Pack it. You can have a comb. I've got lotion for you. Anything you need tomorrow. Yeah, I'll have it there as fast as possible. Oh, those are great ones. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you for coming. This is no, fucking thank awesome. You for having yeah, me. yeah awesome. your shit's I, I, I last year I watched the the new special that you guys did that oh, I guess nice. is on your yeah. website right now. But yeah. that shit was so funny, man. Yeah, that's, that's fun. Uh, yeah, we, we you know, you guys are the best, man. You guys were uh, I always say you guys were like super super nice to us last year. I was like, yeah, those guys, oh, man. Those guys are cool. Yeah. I like that. I really yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I love that. Dude, that special was like I don't know, I, I've always liked the show, but the special you guys did, it was cool that you just like did it on your own, released a full special, filmed it like at a high level. Mm. It was really good. Like all the you know the musical cues from an editing like it was you know it spending was spending the money spent yeah. the money mm -hmm. put in the time everything was you know the way that you kind of uh weaved like one big plot line together that most people thought it was kind of with, like a lot of little things where i was like i know that's hard to do you know yeah, and it yeah. doesn't it's a little yeah. thing but i was like that was hard to pull off you little, know yeah a little sketch it's t it's tough St stand up crossover to sketch and, and vice versa i'm learning because i didn't do stand up last year and now we do it and it's like stand up is like hard to do and sketch is hard to do and that's why stand-ups don't typically do good sketch shows and vice versa i have a theory on that tell me if you've probably uh done so much sketches i think that one of the reasons uh that's that stand-ups are like uh it, it's kind of like live podcasts and versus normal podcast too but you're just like the what's funny in the sketch like what's funny in a sketch wouldn't be funny online and be, 100%. so they can't yeah. like your instincts are all fucked up you know because yeah. yeah, you, you, all of your instincts are this would be funny and you're like that would actually be the least funny thing to do 100 <laughs> percent because it's, it's compositional right like uh, you have like the film the shot the actor the costumes the dialogue Sound, the music yeah, the setup like, there's like there's so, so many, many yeah. things that you can tweak where it's like yeah like you know pie is good and pizza is good this but you don't eat them all together and blah 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 and like the yeah. ratio the ratios come into play on that yeah the ratios are good, it's yeah. good and then like it. with, with stand-up like you think like something's funny and then you're like go ahead go say that on stage dickhead i've been doing this and i'm like is that wasn't fucking funny at all like i thought that was so funny when i was wrong like this is really funny i'll yeah. write it down like that's not funny at all that's probably the the first thing that like took me a while too especially like because you're starting as like a fully formed guy which helps you probably in a lot of ways because you have like a very clear perspective you know you're funny but on the other part of it it was like you realize that all the things that you know friends of yours or people that like you think you're sick you're like that's actually like off-putting to a stranger you know what <laughs> yeah, i mean yeah, in a lot of ways like patting you on the back so hard yeah, yeah. Like hilarious. <laughs> strangers are like what the fuck yeah was, yeah, yeah, yeah what you're, did that guy just say you're only with comedians <laughs> yeah, yeah, all yeah. the time and you're like <laughs> like we have the sensibility because we're always just getting our fucking ears fucked with the craziest things. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. They think, you know, like, look what we're doing this weekend. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. this is nonstop. Yeah. Like, and then, and then, and then, and then, and we're like, <laughs> like, no. And then we're like, how was your weekend? Your pals from home. And you're like, oh, I was fucking crazy. Uh, <laughs> Joe pissed his pants and uh, they, they had a $5,000. Yeah. Uh, I was at a strip club and asking her crazy stories <laughs> till five in the morning. 
I, I'm a fucking degenerate. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. Do you you know, see how this well, comes like, off, and you're like, oh. do you see like Tommy Lee, for example, like guys like that? They, he does like a podcast, you know, tour promoting something or other, right? Yeah. And it's like you're like this guy's doing like a tour, just like humble bragging, basically. Yes. And you're just like, I think if the more anytime you do this, you're just like, oh right, like you kind of you have to be in tune with how like everyone else is seeing it at the moment. And then on sketches, your pacing, like you inv- you have your pacing, and then people will find it on stand up. You need to match like the energy of the room's pacing, and yeah. that's probably like a huge switch. I that's feel a like. wicked big one. Yeah. yeah, like and then like you have like you'll, they'll catch up to you when you're making stuff, you know. And yeah, and, that's crazy. And then like that that side of things is crazy. Like reading the room and, and working with the room, or like yeah, laughter or bills or like clanging of bottles and stuff. Oh yeah, mm. and you you're, like you'll be like yeah, on a lot of external shit. Yeah, and you're like what the fuck is this? like you'll be doing a set of the audio. You want a Coors Light, Bud Light, Heineken? I'm like <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> like what are you crazy, you stupid fucking bitch? It's in the middle of my punchline. Yeah, you'd get fucking kicked in the fucking head if you were on the set. Like, and, and then like, wait, you, but you say that, and then everybody's yeah. just like, "Yo, chill, she's doing her job, man." Like, and I'm like, "You fucking, I'll fucking kill you, cunt, you fucking." Cunt. Like, like if it was on a set, like you just cost us fucking three grand, you dumb bitch. And then like it happens over and over again. You're like, yeah. oh shit, that happened. That's just dude, these people yeah. are doing just bringing guy beers. And I'm like, I'm a, I feel like a dick. You're here, like, that's how the, this bar makes their money is yeah. selling beers. Even and- to go back to the other things, like you that thing where you've like if you've learned to be an expert at like two things or three things it's like you'll just do that again and your thing will be so much quicker than everyone else's i'm sure yeah, it's, it's yeah. like yeah i mean you guys write jokes uh, you know all stand-ups you guys are stand-ups stand-ups write jokes you have a format and you know you can say them i don't have that i just don't know i don't know like i'm not, yeah. not there yet where i'm like oh, oh this is my this will work this is my shtick this is how i do you it. know what you do have though is that you have that thing you can like click into as like a human where the, the, I don't, I wouldn't call it like a character, but like you click into as a human, like something that's just like a fucking ball of funny. Uh, and it's yeah. like, you, you find, your you find a way. Sure, yeah. Right. That that's specific. That's sad. Like that's yeah. such a hard, that's it's very acting. few people have yeah, that. But it's it's hard. Yeah. But I mean, it also it's a thing up. that certain people just have like, yeah. you know, like we, I have a, I have like probably as a guy who like, you know, he's made movies. I made TV shows and stuff like I always casting people or whatever. It's like, yeah. Five people I know have that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, they can kick it on. Kick it like, on, yeah, but yeah, it, and it's not. Uh, doesn't feel over the top. It doesn't yeah. feel awkward. You know. It's yeah. gen- it's genuine. Like yeah. it's a, yeah. It's it's, yeah, it's something that's like in you or something. I think working with like Chuck. Like Ch- Chuck and is like in Sammy. Like they'll. Uh, I don't know. Like we like I took I, I took UCB classes. Oh really? I did. That was fun. I took like a month of uh, an intensive improv. Really? And it. It was good. I think it was like shaking the nerves out. Like acting is fucking gay. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's cringy. And the gayest creepy. part is people who take it really serious. That's the, that's that's the, the worst, worst part. part. You realize, like, oh, You're like, shit. you are so replaceable. Yeah. Like every were. person who's like, no, 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 I'm the best at eating cereal in this fucking <laughs> yeah. Kellogg's commercial. Nobody can do it like <laughs> me. And you go, literally mustard. anybody can do it like yeah. you. <laughs> any, any mechanics, any yeah, anyone. any fucking yeah. person can eat cereal. Yeah. You're, You're not it, special. And that's that's like the toughest part. But like, it's like, all right, asshole, what are you gonna do? Be cool guy right now. Yeah, you're gonna, look, you're gonna be you're LA cool. To be here. Yeah, right. yeah. You paid three hundred bucks for the uh, or seven or whatever the fuck it was, and now what are you gonna be fucking Johnny? Like I ain't doing zip zap. I'm not playing zip zap zap. I'm not playing. I don't want to do it. I don't want to make up a name for myself. Yeah, gay. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sit over here and make fun of you guys. Like, <laughs> like that. Those like nerves were so like it was like oh my god. And you're there with those people that you're talking about. Like the, yeah, yeah. Those like actors that you see. Like every people country. are like afterwards. They're like hey, you want to go grab a beer? You're like I hate all of you. Yeah, I literally. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I hope you grab I, a fucking I despise ambulance. Despise you all. <laughs> <laughs> hope you grab a chemotherapy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Shit. Yeah, but. dude, that stuff sucks. And you guys got dates? I don't know if you want. To. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll be in Ohio. Sam Hyde live for tickets and uh, scuff the realtor every Tuesday and Thursday on YouTube. Sam and Nick's perfect clips. Um, that's more important than anything. That's the uh, that, that's basically the stream we do. We check out real estate and have fun. Look at listings all over the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. Fun. Yeah. Thing. You ever look at that Zillow Gone Wild shit? I've seen some of your streams, yeah. but some of the sh- man, it's so crazy because everybody's like complains. You know, like housing so expensive, and then they'll be, like, it'll cool down so, now. The, but but yeah yeah. But then they'll show like some place in you know I don't know fucking rural Alabama. It's just like some mansion for four hundred grand or something. Those like, are like because you know people obviously want to be near like these cities, but you're like man, if you're willing to just live in the which everybody should do yeah that's you're like you can get the sickest that. place buddy i was looking at places uh like there's places that are like not that crazy expensive near central park and i was like fuck that'd be kind of cool like near central, central park in new york yeah no, and i was no, like no, that'd be sick yeah I, no, wait for I the fucking homeowners fees property tax yeah. and homeowner fees nine grand a month on yeah. a place that's 1.2 yeah nine grand a month because nine so new york city has um buildings uh <laughs> 
buildings have land leases so oh. a lot of buildings uh lease the land from the city never and they're like 99 year leases so you can get a place that like if it wasn't a land lease it would be five million dollars but it's now 1.2 million dollars but your fees like you literally are paying no, the city doesn't make any sense 12k a month i've never seen one thing in this i if it, uh, this is the way i would play new york city I would get a really nice place with four friends and say, listen, guys, we're going to go 25000 each a year, and we're going to get a four-bedroom something for like fifteen th- to 30000 a month, something stupid. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll just fuck this thing for what it's worth, and we'll timeshare between three guys, and then buy a house an hour out. Yeah. Or two. I don't know why more people don't play it's that game. It's a better 20-year-old move, but that's a, yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, exactly. yeah. You're, yeah, you're yeah. a fucking man. You're not going to be like, hey, what's up? And you're like, what? shut the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. you, you fucking kidding me? Your I wife, had a your book. like, do we live in like a commune or something? something what's going like on here? It's no, like sh- four families. You're like, <laughs> I'll be in fiscally responsible. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Central Park view. It's beautiful. <laughs> Are you into chicks, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> Put an ad on Craigslist. Yeah, yeah, I put an ad on Craigslist. Yeah, I'd get the way worse yeah, results. Fuck yeah! All right, this has been the boys. Cast. Yeah, thank you. Peace. Thanks, buddy.